something we do every day i like to think that uh, every one of us is a designer whether uh, we believe it or not yeah, it's just one of those things that we sort of over complicate design and sort of extrapolate it to mean this really abstract thing uh, but fundamentally design is just solving a problem whether that be designing a process designing a product it really doesn't matter it is fundamentally a process of solving a problem um and i'm sure you must be wondering that uh, you know you might have seen a lot of design courses online even on youtube like just youtube videos about uh, designing things but the way that this project is different and the way i have uh, sort of incorporated my own experience into uh, creating this project is that a lot of people will tell you to identify a problem in the market and then solve it now the part that i don't like about it is when you are starting out it is really difficult to sort of uh, wrap your mind around something that you're not experiencing yourself so my most fundamental um principle behind this behind this uh, sort of project is that you uh, identify a problem that you yourself face every day and then you go ahead and you teach yourself you educate yourself and you make yourself skilled enough to sort of attack that project and uh, solve it for yourself so uh, this whole process will help you to sort of will help the participants uh, to sort of uh, be- become very natural with the process of design thinking like i know there's a lot of uh, formal uh, definitions of design thinking i don't really like to get into that we will discuss it can we go to the next slide please uh we will discuss it in like throughout the uh, the project but i feel like it does not need to be that formal design is just something very intuitive something that differentiates us uh from you know the rest of the animal kingdom essentially something that allows us to co- collaborate and sort of you know uh, tackle complicated problems uh so just all of that uh all of these skills you can just I, Adil, I only had like three of these. What have you done? <laughs> But yeah, thank you for sort of expounding upon what I what I uh, listed earlier. Uh, I think my initial uh, sort of uh, sort of content here was just innovation, innovation analysis, and problem solving, which I think sort of just encompasses everything. All right, weekly goals. This is just set up. to sort of follow the normal design process where it's like okay you have a problem okay we have this problem what is the problem that is the goal for week 1 you define and you identify and define the problem and uh, the beauty of it is that it is your problem throughout this this project the most a uh, fundamental differentiating factor i'm just highlighting this again and again is that it will be a problem that is faced by the each and by each uh, individual participant and it will be unique no two participants uh, uh, will have the same problem so then that sort of forces you to you know push yourself uh week to exploration uh now this this is sort of like a a little revelation that i uh, had while sort of solving one of one of these problems that i had uh your problems may not be as unique as you think so uh, chances are if you have a problem some, someone else out there has already solved it so that's what we do here you explore and you research existing solutions that is like step one of any uh design sprint and early ideation what i mean by that is what what are the first three things that come to your head right what are the first three things that come to your head when you listen to your problem statement that is uh that is the uh, goal for week 2 week 3 you take those first three things that come to your head and make them presentable enough so that people won't laugh at you when you actually say them out loud that is the goal for this uh for this sort of uh, week where you sort of formalize a solution uh to a point where it is not just an idea in your head it is something that you can explain to someone else and then they can take it forward right so a lot of times the fundamental problem with uh, designers is that they are not able to communicate to the person actually manufacturing their design right you could be the best designer in the world but unless you are able you are able to explain it to someone who can make that uh make that product or that process into like a real object or like a real thing that can be implemented that 
design i would argue is fundamentally useless because it is not it is just an idea right which is why uh, i am very against the the whole notion of you know protecting the ideas that you have you know some people might just not tell uh, others if they have a really innovative innovative idea because they think they'll, they'll their idea will get stolen but then that doesn't really make sense because your idea is just an idea and it's next to worthless without any practical implementation anyway i digress i would <clears throat> like to uh, move on to week 4 which is uh, so you have a sort of road map of uh, you know of what your idea is and where you want to uh, get at uh, the next next logical step is learning how to do it right so there will be a lot of uh, there is there are a lot of like digital manufacturing techniques uh, you you know, like one simple google search will give you like five different websites that will take uh, a design plan and sort of make the product for you so this is what we are going to explore where you make the sort of idea into uh, take it to manufacturing basically uh, and like i said on like i have been saying throughout this whole uh, presentation what you'll gain out of this is uh, is naturality with the process of designing a solution and even imp and implementing a solution uh and yeah you'll find you'll find that it it is fun the whole process of solving a problem it has a very inherent um you know a very almost animal instinct of just satisfaction right which i think all of us must have experienced like you know if you've played with legos at any point in your life so just the joy of making is what i'm hoping to uh deliver to the participants uh with obviously uh you know a lot of learning along the way but i tend to think of learning as secondary because fundamentally problem solving is something we do every day this is just a way of sort of you know adding on to that and yeah that's i believe it for this presentation and i hope to see you all uh soon